Internal audit is a department of organization within a company providing unbiased, independent reviews of systems, business organizations, and processes. Internal audit is to provide senior leaders or management objective sources of information regarding the organization's risks, control environment, operational effectiveness, and compliance with applicable laws and regulations. Audit committees activities are directed by the CEO or the board of directors. Members of internal audit must be independent of internal politics and bias to provide leaderships with objective source of information. Under the direction of audit committee, internal audits works with the management systematically review control activities over critical systems and processes. Types of internal audits First, the compliance audits evaluate com compliance with applicable laws, regulations, policies and procedures. And second, environmental audits assess the impact of a company's operations on the environments and the company's compliance with environmental laws and regulations. Third, operational audit assess the organization control mechanism for their overall efficiency and reliability. Fourth, performance audit evaluate whether the organization is meeting the metrics set by the management in order to achieve the goals and objectives set by the board of director. And lastly, information technology audits evaluate information system and the underlying infrastructure to ensure the accuracy of their processing, the security and confidential customer information or intellectual property. I will be explaining about the general tasks of internal audit. The function of the internal audit is to provide an independent objective assurance and consulting activity design to add value and improve an organization's operations. The internal auditor's scope of work can be summarized as follows. First, ensuring and educate internal control, reliable accounting data and records. Second, preventing and detecting errors and fraud. The scope and objective of internal auditing will be differ between between companies depending on the size and structure of the company huge company may have a wide scope and objective compared to smaller company the examples of internal auditing activities first monitoring of internal control which demands proper attention on a continuous basis. Second, determining how to manage the risk faced by reviewing and evaluating the soundness, adequacy, and application of various controls, such as review of procedures relating to identifying, measuring, classifying, and reporting financial and operation information. Third, Reviewing the economy, efficiency, and effectiveness of operations by determining the extent to which the established plans, policies, determining and being adhered to. Fourth, reviewing the compliance with external and internal requirements. External requirements are imposed by laws, regulations, and policies and directive while internal requirement and issued by the management of the organization. Uh, no, next is the role of internal audit. Uh, the main role of internal audit is internal auditing is very essential in helping an organization accomplish its objective by bringing a systematic and disciplined approach to evaluate and improve the effectiveness of risk management.
Control and Governance Process. The Malaysian Code of Corporate Governance 2007 has ordered all public listed companies to have an internal audit function which it gives more prominence to the, to the corporate governance overview. Uh, internal auditors rule with regard to governance in the dimension of corporate process in the dimension of governance process internal auditor rules uh, are board related communication and reporting ethics related management related in the dimension of risk management process internal auditor rules are risk assessment risk management risk communication in the dimension of control process we can conclu conclude internal auditor rules are effectiveness adequacy alignment of control and organizational objectives in general all the community has listed set the scale we set up internal audit department what the internal audit department is necessary for this company the first letter is that has the local law and requires composite the list company might have internal audit department. Besides that, the, it, the list company has considered many labor or minimum. That has internal control list point. In order to stretch that the minimum and control, it is necessary to have the individual department to carry out the work. The law of the internal auditor in list company is to reduce the list of flaws but detect the internal control law how or it is organization. According to the regulator, all list company might be auditor. Meaning that the list company might decode the end company and report. So the internal audit department to evaluate and review the financial reporting and internal control of operation to provide the accrued and tally financial reporting and data collection to employee. So, the main purpose of conducting the internal audit for this company is to help the organization organize objectively and independently and set a deal with this by carrying out highly systematic and independent work. The daily tech performed by the internal auditor include First one, monitor efficiency or internal control. For example, when the audit, internal auditor discovers the company has site minimum proper, the internal auditor will set a letter or inquire and check at any time. Back of the control review, evaluate the collection and interview, the internal auditor will provide the exact regarding how it put the control. Second, Detective property and monitor flow list. Internal auditor can analyze the process used to protect the property from tea, fire, illegal activity, or other type of loss. For example, the work equity that employee pay law, inventory minimum, and customer to prepare the incident of fraud. The next test is to ensure the company complies with the law and regulation. For example, the professional internal auditor will comply with the law and regulation who are found or stated of the honesty objectively and confidentially. The other test is to review and verify the minimum information. The internal auditor will clearly monitor the activity and determine color policy and will structure to help the company achieve the objective. Lastly, it accepts the list minimum policy and procedure. This can occur in any way. The list will include the loss of the key or supplier fraud, T liberation damage. The internal auditor will talk to assist the significance of the organization many list and efficiency or list minimum effort to communicate that to the minimum at the board and to establish the commission to enhance the list minimum. Why internal audit is necessary for listed firms? Firstly, improve efficiency of operation by continuously monitoring and reviewing the firm's process. The listed firms 
can identify control recommendation to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of this process. Second, evaluate risk and protect assets. An internal audit program assist management and stakeholders by identifying and characterizing risk through a systematic risk assessment. Third, access controls. The benefit internal control in listed firms, it will improve the control environment of the firms by assessing efficiency and operating effectiveness. Fourthly, ensures compliance with laws and regulation. By regularly performing an internal audit, the firms can ensure compliance with any and all relevant laws and regulations. Last but not least, provides objective insight. Every firm can audit their own work without having a definite conflict of interest. Hi, uh, my name is Nur Adila Metimota. I'm going to present on my part for the question What happens if there is no internal audit in the company or in an organization? Okay, so I managed to get a few. Um, a few uh, impact uh, for the situation where there is no internal audit in the uh, company so for example uh, the management will have a high chance to make a risky decision um, on a financial matters uh, without concerns or advances from internal audit so uh, it is because internal audit plays a vital role in refining the performance of the organization by evaluating the audit report. That means uh, the performance of the organization uh, are determining by the auditor audit report itself. So the second point is the frauds and tip are easily happen in the organization uh, because there is no monitor from the internal audit. So a regular internal audit uh, can assess the organizational control and help the, to expose the evidence of the fraud. Okay, also, the internal audit uh, can monitor the staff's work and their behavior in the uh, organization. So, uh, last but not least, um, the system in the company may be exposed to the hacking attempts when there is no experts on handling system or software like internal audit uh, do in an organization. So, uh, regularly, uh, the internal audit may provide the effectiveness of the various system or software uh, in the company which may help the auditor in um, determining the performances uh, to be exact uh, the financial performances of the company that's all that's all for me thank you can internal audit fails the answer is yes there are four reasons why internal audit can become a major failure the first reason is because of lack of integrity number two is because of the company fails to follow up with the current issue and the current situation of the company number three is because of conflict of interest and number four is because of insufficient and inadequate documents internal audit can become a major failure if the internal audit is lack of integrity while assessing high risk area and take the scope of limitation for granted then the company fails to follow up with the current situation and the current issue of the organization number three Internal audit can become a major failure if the internal auditor has a conflict of interest as they are working for the company. They might conceal and distort some of the sensitive information to smooth the earning income. And number four, it is because of the company has insufficient and inadequate document that needed to be assessed. What can the organization do about it? Organization plays an important role to ensure the efficiency and efficacy of the internal audit. The efficacy of the internal audit can be improved by providing training and seminar to the internal audit committee. By providing training and seminar to them, they will be exposed to the frequent and unforeseen issues that are always happening in the organization. Other than that, it could enhance their problem-solving skills and conflict resolution. Number two, the organization needs to ensure that 
They are recruiting knowledgeable and skillful internal auditors and has to ensure the involvement of the experienced auditor professional during the recruitment process. This is to ensure that the internal audit of the company can be trustworthy and reliable. Number three, the organization needs to provide a complete SOP or standard of procedure to the internal audit throughout the audit process. This is to ensure that the audit process will be conducted in effective way and to avoid any misunderstanding between management team and internal audit team. SOP or standard of procedure is vital to the organization as it provides a clear guideline and instruction to the audit committee for the audit process. And last but not least, number four, the organization needs to provide a manageable and conducive working environment to the internal audit committee. This is to ensure that they can be conducted, the process can be conducted in effective way and can lead to a better performance. To summarize, the internal audit aim to assess and improve effectiveness of governance, risk management and control of a critical process. The objective of internal audit also include to provide the board and management with information and assurance related to their duties. Internal audit can ensure the company compliance with any and all relevant laws and regulation. Gaining client trust and avoiding costly fines associated with non-compliance make internal audit an important and worthwhile activity for the organization. There are many emerging technology revolutionizing how business is done worldwide. And some in particular technology such as data analytics, artificial intelligence, AI, and blockchain are expected to have a significant impact on internal audit now and in the future. Internal audit that take a proactive approach to technology adoption can enjoy a number of benefits, lower costs, greater organizational value, and more integrated risk framework are just some of the advantages that innovative analytics, AI, and blockchain could provide. In Malaysia, the Institute of Internal Auditor Malaysia, IIA Malaysia, is a non-profit professional organization dedicated to the advancement and development of the internal audit profession in Malaysia. This body provides educational activities and standards for the professional practice of internal auditing. Right. Though internal audit may be fail, fortunately you can avoid most internal audit fail simply by complying with professional standards. Integrity is the most important element to make sure the effectiveness of internal audit. Without it, internal audit will be no better than a lack of trust and corruption. Integrity is the most important key in building trust. It is crucial to an auditor see the very foundation of this profession is built in by trust given by the board and the management of the company. That's all from our group. Thank you for listening.